The King of Ruin built this place for his foreign queen. He kept it filled with familiar creatures from her homeland. They bored me all. This fine specimen, on the other hand, is simply... divine. Your fates are entwined, are they not, Icon Slayer? This dragon, this embodiment of unbridled despair, born of a desperate man's burning hatred for the Empire. How raw the raging tempest that churns within its breast. No myth made manifest this but a being of pure violence. <laughs> Mayhap you are the true architect of our design. You who fought the very soul of vengeance to the edge and watched him fall. You who let slip this elegant hound to drive the acorn into my arms. Oh my, have I said too much? Forgive me, this sensation is wholly unfamiliar to me. <laughs> A question, then, and I should very much like for you to speak from the heart. If I were to stand aside, what would you do to this icon? Kill it. Ah, as simple as that. But of course, you are the Icon Slayer. Such certainty is to be expected. A pity. There is another alternative. Or there would be, had you only mastered your abilities. Man should fight for the joy of it. To live, to eat, to breed. Lesser beasts snap and howl at one another for this. Only man has the wisdom and the clarity to embrace violence for its own sake. For we who are born into this merciless, meaningless world have but one candle of life to burn. I know you understand this. You and I are one and the same. Together, we could while away the quiet hours as friend and confidant, if you will accept me. Never. <laughs> and yet in doing so, you prove me right. We are warriors. It was plain from the first how this would end. You live for these moments, when all hangs in the balance, when the difference between life and death is but a single stroke. I live for them too! This is who we are, my friend! This is all we are! Alamigo and Toma and Garlem all be damned!
<laughs> we tower above the gods. You by your gift, I by my might. And before the resonance, the god shall be made to me.